That's what happens if you chase me for too long. I was just trying to complete a simple mission. Shoot down eight sentinels. But nope, they had to, one of them had to follow me off the planets. I had to keep gunning them down. I kept trying to get away, but... Uh, no, no, no. They had to keep, keep trying to bring me down. Well, guess what? My ship may be a little bit dented. Okay, it's a lot dented, but who cares? There's... I made it. However, as you may have guessed, it was a lot harder to bring down a sentinel... Oh, come on, what's now? I am not in any mode Well, this is interesting. Oh, it's one of these. Remember these freighters, right? I think you're supposed to shoot them? No. Not the freighters themselves, but the... There's supposed to be like a cargo pod in here. This is, I can't find it. Well, it doesn't seem to have any attached, so I'm just going to have to go on to um, Or the construct, or sorry, the autophage who sent me on this mission in the first place. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to tell the guy everything, every last detail. Now, what exactly do they have for sale here? Okay, I got a couple of these. Hmm. These are just to mess with the my own Nexus suit, but I like it the way it is. Same goes for my autophage stuff, I'm not exactly committing to it. But I'm just going to install. Oh, where is it? Oh, here they are. Install these. Yeah, sprint distance, core health, life support check, tanks, fuel efficiency. Not bad. And don't worry, I know some of you might have noticed that uh, the saloon was finished during during my fight with the Sentinel Capital ship. I'll be right there. Let's see, are there any new construction opportunities? No, there aren't. But I got lots of happiness. So until next time, I'll see you at the next construction opportunity.
Is this gonna be like a thing now? I mean, every time I'm away from the keyboard for, well, admittedly an extended period of time, I always come back to one of these raids. Uh, I suppose it goes without saying, ah, there it is. I suppose it goes without saying that I'm sick to death of it, but, uh, it's an occupational hazard of running a developing colony. All right, I'm told that there are new construction opportunities. What do we got here? We have a Starship Hub and a Retail Zone. Uh, okay, we already have a Starship Hub, to be honest. Um, we don't have a Retail Zone. On the other side of that, though, uh, I suppose I could use another Starship dock, even though we haven't had a marketplace yet. So, uh, I mean, yeah, they both produce Marketplace places more productivity, but I get the impression that the Starship dock is the more immediate productivity. Especially given this colony's tendency to build stuff um, without roofs. And then you build the roof separately. I'll take that, thank you. I'll take that too, thank you. Um, we got 40% happiness, 34 citizens, and uh, 348 Hate uh, 1,327 units a day out of... Hey, which will more than cover the maintenance cost of 192,229 units a day. Okay. So, I've already got all the chromatic metal I need. I need erodium too, but I got that. The sooner I get this started, the better. In the meantime, I have autophage missions I gotta do. So I will... and errands I gotta run, come to think of it. So I'll come back either when something new happens autophage-wise, or when I'm at the next phase of constructing the uh, Starship Hub. So it looks like we have a guest in our settlement. There we go. I'll go see what they want here. Hello. Allows Surfling Ippin has fled another settlement after a violent quarrel. They offer their services as a divinator, though system records show no trace of their prior existence. Well, um... Hmm, interesting. If I let this guy stay, it'll, it'll uh, remove the hostile spy designation. It adds something called a resident divinator. He's welcome into, into the population. It does cost maintenance, but uh, we have. It, it's not gonna. It's, it's he's not too expensive. So yeah, I'm gonna let him stay here. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay, let me see what. Um, so yeah, see, we're still almost like double maintenance, um, but it looks like we have all positive uh, features. I mean, this... What do you call, ah, here it is. The resident divinator decreases sentinel attention. Oh, I so need that. Yeah, but that sort of thing is worth the cost, can, especially when you consider um, the, the negative attribute that it removed. Alright, well... Anyway... I'll be back at the next phase of construction. <laughs> and we need Aronium. Well, fortunately I know where to get it from this time. I should have some... yeah, here we go. And that's all it takes. 
two phases, very clean. Let me just uh, put the rest of this back. There we go. All right. So now it's off to do some more missions or exploration or errands or something like that. I mean, I spent a lot of time before um, mining. Well, I say mining. I mean, I guess you could call it mining tritium. I needed it, but anyway. I'll see you if something happens, or if the hub is finished. Okay, it looks like we got another citizen's request. What do we have here? Um, the citizenry requests a festival to celebrate the rise of the blood moon. Ah, cool, lunar eclipse. I wonder which one. Though such an event may prove expensive, polling indicates 94% of the citizens approve of the spending. Well, um... If I were to deny the request, um, it would uh, it wouldn't be very well received, as you can see. If I were to endorse the event, it'll it'll give me more happiness, bumping me up to 49 percent. And while it will cost about 58,000 units, it won't be 58,000. It'll be like one lump sum, as opposed to an actual decrease in productivity. So yes, I am going to endorse this event here. And it looks as though the spaceport's finished, and ooh, look at this. We are now a B-class settlement as opposed to a C-class settlement. So, until... And and we're making double what, uh, what we cost anyway, so it's really... So we'll be back when there's another construction opportunity. And welcome to our next construction opportunity. What do we got this time? Well, um, I can build a retail zone or I can just not build anything. But doing something is so much better than doing nothing in, in, uh, under these circumstances, don't you think? So I am going to build a retail zone. 79% approval. I wonder who the other t what the other 21% are thinking. I mean, oh, hold on a second, there's resources available. Um, yeah, here we go. So the first ingredient I need is silicate powder, which I have because... because I was building... Um, it's because I had to tunnel my way underground for a while during one of the missions. Alright, so here you are, 340 silicate powder. Oh boy, that's a long time. Two hours. I think it's the longest possible. Um, but, well, you know my policy on this. If something happens, I'll let you know. Be that something, a uh, citizen dispute, um, a policy decision, a visitor, or just an unusual autophage mission, which I'll be doing as well as some errands. I haven't forgotten my freighter, you know. Well, it seems we have a guest, a visitor. Let's see what they have to say here. Oh, interesting. Value Gek Ye... Ye... Taste... Kick... Ye... Taste Kick was found lurking outside the settlement walls. They claim to have lost their memory and ask for help discovering their identity. Their only clue is a series of glyphs tattooed upon their hands. Um... Well, this is interesting. You know, um... An ontological mystery is all too familiar to me. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I see no reason to uh, to throw this guy out. Sure, it'll cost, but it won't be a continuous expense. So yeah, I'll help value get 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 taste. How do you say that? I mean, he's in a better. They're in a better position than I am. I didn't even know my own name. See you around. Oh 
Oh wow, that's a lot of standing increased. I didn't know it would be this much. I imagine that uh, my standing with the Gek would have decreased by that same amount if I had if I had them removed. Oh yeah. I also want to gussy up my uh, Minotaur. Maybe make it go a little faster? Okay, well, we've still got a pretty hefty chunk of time. So, until something else happens... Actually, you know, I might just blast off from here. I mean... I was actually able to land on the launching pad because there was nobody else on it. There's the other one right there. And that's where the Commerce Center is going to be. But in the meantime, I need to run some errands. I gotta go grab some tritium. I'm running out of it. What the devil's this? Hello? Who is this? What? Okay, um, something's happening to this freighter. Hello? Oh boy, hold on a second. Okay, we got pirates here. I think. Yeah, that's it. Hostile ships approaching. 